Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now today we're going to be doing... Oh my god, um, hang on a minute, sorry, uh, Sunny Stormy seems to be playing. Um, <laughs> sorry about that Julie, if you can hear your own voice. Um, I was watching your video of Sapphire on the deck and uh, forgot to press pause. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, we are on the final little hurdle, as you can see I've now put the other green, there was a green um, uh, C missing here, oh you little git, look at that, number two is missing now again, um, let me just see if I can, oh where's my pen gone, see this is the thing, you need sealant because they have a habit of keep coming off, so let me just see, I think I've got a lilac, um, I did see a lilac, let me see if I can, and that's not my look. I think that one is. There we go. So, yeah, this is why you need to see limp. But anyway, we're on the last little hurdle now of this lovely cat that we've been working on for so long. Oh, lovely. So, I'm going to try and do this in one session if I can. This is the lovely orange colour. Um, we're going to be working on, I think I'll start from the top up and uh, we'll get this finished, which means I can um, get another one started, which is great. So that's that one, and we'll do all that. So I've just been watching I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of It, and uh, after that, they announced that the Celebrity Cyclone is on there tomorrow, so uh, we're gonna be doing that tomorrow night, which is really exciting. You know it's coming to the end when you see Cyclone, because um, obviously it finishes on the Friday and then after that the news came on and apparently Pierce Morgan is moaning saying that he should um, he should apologize uh, Prince Harry should apologize or whatever but I can't stand Prince um, sorry Pierce Morgan I cannot stand him there's even a video of him walking off the set I think it's of ITV or one of the sets, he just walks off, he goes, I've had enough of this. And I'm thinking, you're in a live show and you're just walking off on daytime television. Like, I, I don't know what it is, but he just seems to think he, he, he feels like he has to be right. It's his way or no way, you know? And uh, yeah, I cannot stand that bloke. So uh, I don't think he should be making comments like that about the prince, to be quite honest with you. Cannot stand the bloke. Um, because obviously there's this court case going on, something to do with phone hacking or something with the uh, Daily Mirror, is it? So, what was that other paper that got sued? Was it the, there was a paper years ago, um, News of the World, that was it, that got, I don't know what happened to that, but I think they sued them and it got closed down or something happened anyway, but News of the World, yeah. But yeah, he just seems to moan over anything. And one of the reporters outside, I think it was his house, he said, are you gonna apologize? And he was like, me apologize, it's Prince Harry who should be apologizing. And I'm like, he loves being center of attention, doesn't he, that Piers Morgan? I can't help the way I feel, I just don't like him. <laughs> I'm entitled to that, but uh, yeah, he's, he's not a very nice person, let's put it that way. But, uh, yeah, so watch that. And there's nothing really exciting apart from Steve Rosenberg, who normally does, I think I spoke about this earlier, but he normally does news reports from, is it Russia or Moscow? And he's come over to Eurovision in Liverpool because he's such a big um, piano player. And he's sitting in front of these people. He's been playing it all day. And he can, he's... Like people are asking for requests and he's got to play it. It's really, really good. So, um, I do love his hands because his hands are very small. And, uh, yeah, it always fascinates me how he has such small hands. But, yeah. This shouldn't take us too long to finish this because we're whizzing away. I thought it would take, like, about 30 minutes or so, but we seem to be whizzing away. So, uh Look forward to getting up the next painting. So, yeah. 
but it's payday tomorrow, so it means I can get a little bit more. I've already got my Timu order set up, so I'm gonna be doing that and getting all that sorted out. See, this is, this is what I don't like, is when you've got a dark color and then they change it out for that orange. It looks a bit overpowering, as you can see, but we'll still do it. There's always a color that has to sort of like wreck the design if you like but I could be wrong it could be okay but yeah so it's also nice that I've got a painting where I can work there's this is apparently um, GB Maltese uh, Grace she has this light called a genie lamp and I keep forgetting to order it, but it's basically um, one of my friends has it as well. He does ship building, um, John's Iconic Builds, and uh, he does a lot of wooden ships, and I've seen it in his channel. And apparently the idea is, is that you, it's like a, on a tripod thing, but the idea is, is that you don't need the light board of the diamond painting mat. So, because them things are really bright, it's probably why I get headaches so often. But um, it's just lovely to see like a painting like this where you don't have to have anything under it. So it's pretty good. But yeah, I can't believe we're finally coming to the end of this painting. I think I've done it in about the space of a week really because I think I started it before the coronation. Um, and I've just really sort of cracked on with it. Um, quite like these little cute, these little, um, small canvas things but uh i haven't ordered from the range for a while so uh because i i've got quite a few from there and then obviously i um was ordering a lot from amazon i'm gonna set myself a challenge for june i'm gonna try my hardest not to order anymore but obviously with the exception of the unboxings so we might do a month where we do no unboxings but i don't know i mean obviously i've ordered another one tonight because I'm coming to the end of this, so problem being is I've got all this stash to do and I'm finding that when I come to the end of one I'm ordering a new one and then doing the one that's coming through the post <laughs> rather than do a uh, run through the stash. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, diamond painting is quite addictive and uh, I, th I think I'll be doing this for the rest of my life probably, I love it. It's therapeutic, it's relaxing, gives you something to talk about. So it's um, it's, it's quite lovely really. Um, put that there. And uh, thank you to all the latest subscribers uh, recently. I can't believe this channel has got to 183 already. Considering, I think this channel is a year old now, but it's just accelerated so quick and I, I'm really humbled and blessed. Um, I just can't believe it. I mean, as I said, my channel is always gonna be like a, a build diary for me. Um, I'm not interested in the money side of it. I'm not interested in, you know, the monetization or the, you know, the AdSense and all that stuff. Um, I just consider it a build diary so that when I'm old and gray, I can look back and go, I did that. I made that in my teens. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say, I mean, is 30 a teen? I don't think it is because you have to go 14, 15. So yeah, 30. I can't actually remember how old I am. Alexa. Actually, no. <laughs> It's a genus of what? In the what? What? I did not say anything. Talking about Alexa, where's my package? A package for Mike's order should arrive Thursday, the eighteenth of May. Yeah, Another baby. Package should arrive Saturday, oh. the twentieth of May. That must... package should arrive Monday, the twenty-second of May, containing aspirin. Oh, thanks for sharing that. <laughs> But it's um, apparently when it's like special occasions, she won't tell you what is in the package. 
so that she don't spoil it, especially if it's like a birthday gift. But did you notice she goes, she told me how many packages I've got, but she didn't say what was in each, what was in the other packages, apart from the last one being aspirin. <laughs> Alexa, cancel my aspirin order. Your last Amazon order was placed on the 7th of May. It has one item in it, aspirin. Would you like to cancel it? Yes, please. I forgot the reason why I got aspirin is because when I was having my teeth ripped out and that's and uh, extracted I was really having trouble trying to control the pain so what I did was I, I don't really like using aspirin because apparently it's quite dodgy with like um, high blood pressure pills and ibuprofen weren't working um, paracetamol wasn't working I couldn't get hold of any new and more Neuromol is basically paracetamol and ibuprofen in one pill, but it's a much stronger uh, fast relieving pill. And I didn't really want to get that because you can only use it once every nine hours. And um, the pain was so unbearable, it was difficult to control with ibuprofen and paracetamol. And I thought, well, I'd better try aspirin. And this was well before I discovered it was a dry socket and it did sort of take the edge off a bit but I when I sign up to when I buy things sometimes it will say um, save five percent if you subscribe and save so what that means is say like I regularly order um, tomato ketchup for example I can get a discount but it, it schedules it and automatically delivers it based on what day of the week I want it on it could be every two weeks every month but I don't really need aspirin anymore since the uh, it's healed really nicely. I mean, obviously there's still a hole there, but um, it's really healed since the dry socket, that spongy thing was in there. And I've not had any problems since, so uh, there's no point in me getting aspirin. Because um, I don't need it, that reminds me I've not took my bloody heart pill. Excuse me, what? I have to take this, otherwise I'll be in the shits. <laughs> So apologies about that. Um, that's my little heart pill. It's basically high blood pressure, but if I don't take it, I will be having high blood pressure and uh, it's not very nice because it goes up and down. But I was watching my friend and she said she's got high blood pressure as well. But apparently the doctors won't give her any medication for it because it goes up and down. But my met, mine goes up and down and I was prescribed Ramipril or whatever it's called. So, yeah, um, apparently I've got to take them until further notice, which I suspect the rest of my life. Because the problem is with high blood pressure is you can't, you can only control it with medication. So... But when I first was prescribed it, I was taking it in the morning. Well, of course, it was knocking me out all day because it's got like a sedative effect to it. And um, they said, try taking it at night time. And one time I took promethazine, which is this one here. It's my sleeping pill because I have insomnia. And um, I took it in the day. Didn't think it would like time me out. And I'm thinking within about an hour, I was really sleepy and tired. And I had this horrible migraine. And I um, spoke to the pharmacist because um, obviously whenever it's a new medication, they like to check up on you to make sure, you, you know, how you're getting on with it. And he said, try taking it in the evening just before you go to bed. So it turns out it's actually like a, a night pill. But obviously promethazine or promethazine or promethazine, however you pronounce it, apparently it's not long term. So they'll only give you it. Um, you know, if the doctor feels you need it, because for some reason the the um, they were saying something about there's not a sleep pill license in the UK or something. So, promethazine is only sort of like to reset your your uh, sleep pattern. So they said we'll give you a month's supply. I was on seven. And they said, we'll give you a month's supply and see if that resets it for you. So, I mean, the last couple of days I've been falling asleep at just about half midnight. And before it was like one, two, three o'clock. So it has improved significantly. But 
I don't really want to keep taking them because they they do the first time you get up in the morning it just feels like you're knackered it's got a really horrible sedative effect to it but you know I need something because I can't keep staying up till and then I'm staying up till like two three o'clock and then I've got to get up by seven again to go to work. I just need something to help control it because I'm not getting a decent night's sleep and then obviously I'm ratty and... <sighs> yes. And paracetamol are horrible, they taste disgusting. I much prefer the capsules, um, but yeah. Problem is with like solid pills is they take too long for the stomach to break it down. So, um, you know, but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to use up these ones. I've got two left of them because I have got, I've got these ones, which are the new ones. So I've actually got, um, these are heart ones as well. They're high blood pressure, high blood pressure ones as well. But I, I do like using them ones because they've got a lovely colour to them. <laughs> but yes, um, talking of which, when's my next one due? Yeah, so the next one's, uh, that's on repeat, you see. So the next one will be due the 17th of May. So apparently take one daily. So, yeah, no indication of when I can come off them. Just got to take them daily. So, uh, but if it helps the ticker, then that's fine. And everyone says to me, like, you're too young to have high blood pressure. And I'm like... What can I do? I, I mean, I shouldn't really, but I blame my granddad because he had, I'm not going to go into it, but there was a, a big argument with my relatives, um, well, well before I was born, I think. And he was the cause of why he had a triple bypass. And he is such a, a amazing man. Like he will, he will like, he's gone through so much to get past that you know they had to open his chest and do some sort of bypass and that and I think it's ever since because I think he has them as well so I, I don't I shouldn't really blame him but yeah I don't know but yeah But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these ones up once I can and then I'll get rid of this because this is broke off. So I could do with getting rid of them. I'm actually discontinuing them. I'm not going to be buying them anymore because I haven't bought one for a while actually. I used to buy them to replace them but I've got so many different... This is the thing with diamond painting. You've always got different upgrades and I've moved now to, you know, then carry case things. Um, I need to try and see if Alie AliExpress... Um, team who's got another carry case because I could do with a couple of them um, but yes this uh, this Aliexpress I was on there earlier because they sent me emails and someone on Aliexpress is selling a shoe which looks like a slider um, a slider is like a type of flip-flop um, but it's called a slider and they're selling it for 1p and I'm thinking you can't make, you know, how can, how the hell can you make money on that? I mean, do you see, I don't like the look of this cat because it's like he's wearing a mask or something and he's peeking through, whereas this one you've got more detail. I don't know why they've done that for that, it's quite annoying. I'm very picky with things, so I want things looking perfect. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so... At least I can start on a new painting tomorrow. I've been itching to get into that. You know that rose one that I got on Timu? Um, it's like a pink rose surrounded in this glass thing. Um, I've been itching to get onto that. <sighs> Look, six again. Why do you do this to me? Just why? <laughs> okay, let's see if that's six. Where's... <laughs> There we go, it's probably that one. That, that one, yep. Yeah, ba -da -ba -do. See? But this is definitely going to need sealing. Because the, they seem to fall off for some reason. It doesn't matter how sticky it is. It's, it's not the best to stick, as you can see. It's not. 
I've seen stronger stickage than that, but we'll have to seal it. Um, the sunflower needs sealing. Do you know what? I forgot to put this on bloody gems flow. Um, gems flow, if you don't know what that is, is it's basically an app where it basically controls uh, you start when you start it, when you finish it, uh, whether you've um, sold it. It's basically like a catalogue thing so that you can catalogue all your paintings to keep track of like if you've ordered it or if you haven't ordered it. I dare say a lot of us have ordered the same painting twice. Well, we've uh, not sure if we've had it or not. <laughs> I mean, for me, I don't really have the time to go through checking all my orders on my Amazon account to see if I've got it. I just have to try and memorise it. And um, I think the only time I've bought a duplicate is the Panda because I bought one from the works and then I've, I bought one from Amazon and I'm th I finished the works one and I was like, I'm, sh I I'm sure this is the same one I bought from the works. <laughs> and it was, it was just like, one was 30 times 30 and then the other one was like, um, uh, 30 to 40, so, oh no, look, we're coming to the end, this gorgeous cat, I've quite enjoyed that, so I will decide whether I'll do a canvas next or what, but at least it's, uh, that'll be a wrap for today, I think, because I've really enjoyed doing that, so I will, let me just turn my laptop off, because I, when it gets to sort of like half and eleven, I sort of pack up for the day and uh, head to my bed and then watch EastEnders. I've actually got to watch that tonight, funny enough. Because um, I was watching Sweet Pea, uh, not Sweet Pea, um, Sweet Tooth or whatever it's called on Netflix. So I've got into that, it's quite good. Um, I've watched the third episode now, well, starting it, and I still can't work out what it's about. <laughs> All I've seen so far is a boy dressed up with antlers in his head, and that's about it. Um, I don't really understand what the story is about. I mean, it's like Mr. Tumnus from the Chronicles of Narnia, but on that note, we are done. Another one abolished. Yes, we have abolished this painting. What a fantastic uh session it has been it really has been it would have been nice to get some butterflies but this has been a joy to work on i mean obviously when i very first saw this i was a bit nervous about how the flowers would come out and they've just it's exceeded my expectations it's been such a lovely painting to work on some lovely vibrant flowers i think for me my favorite has to be the fact that this is lilac and then you've got the green stems of the plant and then it's going into this pot they've done a lovely job on this I'm not entirely sure if this is supposed to be a flower or in a pot. I mean, parts of the painting do look a bit smudged. Um, this flower down here is pretty cool because you've got, like, um, specks of orange in it. And then I think the, the brilliant cat is this one here um, because this one looks like it's wearing a mask, as you can see. Um, <laughs> it's like it's wearing, like, you know, an astronaut space cap. <laughs> you know, um oh what do you call them the astronaut that mask thing that they wear that big what well, looks like a big uh gold fish tank thing but i've really enjoyed that it's been a pleasure to work on and um i can't wait to get some more of these so uh always check out the range um even if you subscribe to their newsletters they don't always you know send you new newsletters about paintings but you always have to keep having a look especially with the works as well but I thoroughly enjoyed that and uh, it's sad to see it come to an end but as they say all good things must come to an end at some point obviously this part this part here will not stick anymore because it's it's on that but that's ready to hang on the wall now um i just need to seal it and uh do check out liz scotty dog crafts um liz harrison scott dog crafts because she does some fantastic um canvases i've seen her like get a canvas it's like come in a kit but she stretches it over the uh this wooden plaque thing so i have seen her do that i think i would like to do a diamond painting clock that's on the to-do list and a notepad um i want to explore some other areas in diamond painting but yeah that's it so another painting abolished another painting to come to take over what will it be you'll have to wait and see and that rhymed take care guys have a lovely day 
Um, if you want to get this painting for yourself, the link's in the description of the video. Please remember to like, share, subscribe to all the youtube things with the bell. And um, consider subscribing to the channel. Um, we're nearly at 200, which I am, I can't believe in such a short space of time. Um, and, you know, check out my sister channels. I do models, I do crafts, I do this one, diamond painting. I do a bit of um, shopping hauls and stuff. And yeah, really, really fun. And if you get the ankle white, you can see it sort of shimmies. Shabby chic, is it called? Or I don't know what that is actually. Um, but it's it's got a bit of bling glitter to it. But yeah, wow. Um, quite emotional seeing it at the end, really. But especially when you've been painting so long. But I really must stop rabbiting on. I can talk for Britain. <laughs> but anyway, take care, guys. And I'll see you next time for another painting. Catch you later.